welcome to the dark hour. <laughs> I am Dr. Dark, your host, of course, and welcome to Dark Manor. <laughs> tonight we have an eerie tale for you. In fact, we have two tales for you tonight. Two short tales. <laughs> uh, guaranteed to chill you to the bone. <laughs> the first one is called the phone call. So let's go and watch what happens on the phone call. In fact, while you're watching the phone call, I'm going to make a phone call myself with my cellular phone. Got to keep up to date, you know. So let's go to the phone call. <laughs> Stupid. I, I wouldn't want that from the office. Oh, it's not too bad. What? Oh, come in. Hey, Dave. Hi, how are you? Good, you? Hi. Just trying to get some supplies for my office. What else is new? Huh. No, well, if you want to hear something that's been really stupid and crazy, you know my uh, Aunt Helen, right? Yeah. She passed away a few yeah. weeks ago. I've been getting these phone calls. This woman, yeah, this woman's calling up, constantly calling up, saying, this is my Aunt Helen, right? Yeah. And, of course, I mean, nobody comes back from the grave, you know? It could happen. Well, only if you believe in the magazines. But I'm telling you the truth. This person is calling me constantly, driving me nuts, First, I took it okay, okay? I thought somebody was just, you know, trying to be funny, lighting up my spirits and stuff, right? Yeah. Next thing I know is it's happening over and over and over again. Wow. Have you been getting anything like that? Nothing. Why me? I don't know. I mean, I've been asking everybody else, why me? Other than that, how is everything? Well, I'm, I mean, I got today off, so it's like, I'm getting over it, you know, I'm, you know, she was, you know, she was all right for a night, you know, but, I mean, I, I'm pretty much my own boss, so I can take time off, I, I don't know. How's the rest of your family? Good. Yeah? You've been all right. You look really stressed out. <laughs> I am. I'm very stressed out. <laughs> well, if you need anybody to talk to, just... Just give me a call. All right. Because I got to get going. I got to go to work. Okay. All right? All righty. All right. Take care. Yep. See ya. Yeah. Okay? She's been dead. You're not my aunt. People don't come back from the grave. Okay? So stop calling here. Come on in. Hey, Dave. How's it going, guy? Hi, Woo. John. How are you? Why does it sound like terrible? Huh? It's getting terrible out there. Oh, I haven't, no, I haven't been out. Uh, I should be, though. Hey, uh, you know, I dropped by because I, I got to find out, do you need any supplies for yeah, the office? I, I need a couple of cabinets. A couple of cabinets. Well, what type do you need? Um, oh, you got the office book right yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, those. Let's see. Uh, oh, see. I got to ask you a question. Yeah? You know my Aunt Helen, right? I mean, yeah, I, I knew you were Aunt Helen. I, yeah. Um, well, you and her, you know, you talked a lot, you know, and did some times. Well, I've been getting these strange phone calls from this woman who claims to be my aunt. Yeah. Helen. Your aunt Helen? Yeah. Uh, come who, on, Dave. She's been dead. I know. But, 
I know it sounds crazy and bizarre, but it's true. It's just, been happening. Somebody just trying to pull your leg. This person oh. keeps keeps calling me over and over and over again. What are they gonna do? Come visit you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sounds crazy. Right. But why me? I mean, nobody else that I know has been getting these phone calls. Yeah. Nobody. Why me? It's just, it's just some prank. Somebody's having a trying to, you know, have a little bit of fun at your expense. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. Is this, this the kind of cabinet you're looking for? Yeah, this one in the black. Mm-hmm. So what do you want, two of those? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I really wouldn't worry about it. Do uh, you want these tomorrow? That'd be nice. Okay, there's no problem there. No, I, I just let it slide off. Forget about it. You know, it's, it's nothing. I wouldn't even worry about it. Yeah, but 30 times? Just somebody. You know, what? Uh, so what? Get a thing put on your phone. You know, something, some type of thing or something. Find out what's going on. I don't know. To call a phone company or something. You going in tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Right. I gotta, I gotta come in with your, your new cameras. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, I'll see you then. Then. Okay, Dave. I, I really gotta get going because I got more work to, to do down here at the factory. So. Okay. All right. Hey, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow morning with those cabinets. All right. All right. So okay. Your wife, I say hi. Sure. Well. Bye. Okay. Take care. I'll... Yeah. Oh. Hello? Yep. Why are you doing this? No. No, you're not. Have, have I ever done anything to you? Look, don't call here no more, okay? Please. If, if, if you don't listen to me now, I'm going to start calling the police, all right? Don't call me no more. You're not her, okay? She's dead. She's been dead, okay? You're not her. Man. Don't you ever hang up on me again, nephew. Don't you ever hang up on me again. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Did you enjoy the phone call? I know I did. Oh, if you haven't met my friend Sammy, this is Sammy. Say hello, Sammy. Hello, Sammy. <laughs> oh, yes. Sammy, did you enjoy the phone call? Yes, Dr. Doc. <laughs> ah, we have another tale for you tonight, another short tale. This is called Evil Night. So let's go and watch Evil Night. Are you ready, Sammy? Yes! So am I. <laughs> pits of hell. We cast you out from this soul. Father, you've done it. Oh, welcome back. 
Did you enjoy Evil Night? I love Evil Night. <laughs> but doesn't everybody? <laughs> no? Well, you should. <laughs> Sammy, did you enjoy Evil Night? Yes, Dr. Doc. I know I did. Ah, uh, well, we've come to the end of another Dark Hour. And we hope to see you soon on the Dark Hour. Don't we, Sammy? Yes, Dr. Doc. <laughs> so we'll see you again on the next exciting adventure from the Dark Hour, we hope. <laughs>